Hello, welcome back your faces to another video here on the channel. At the beginning of the live stream last night, for about 30 to 45 minutes, we actually went over the Hollywood Reporter hit piece that that Tatiana woman put out there, which still blows my mind. A lot of people have gone over it as well in the last day or so, and their, just their analysis of it is just phenomenal. It's just great. Everyone, and I mean everyone, is ripping it to shreds, which is always a good thing to see, because if that's what they're calling good journalism this day and age, well, they're our journalists. But the other part of the live stream, you know, the last, last quarter of an hour or so before we played the game, we looked at the Daily Fail yesterday. This link for the page I'm currently looking at, which is in the Wayback Machine, which means if you click on it via this link, you do not give Daily Fail a click. They do not get it. But this is what we got, so let's spin this around. Dior is still using Johnny Depp as the face of Savage sent after liable trial because Brand didn't have time to reshoot new adverts for lucrative Christmas slots. Expert says. That's the worst thing about this article because if you're on your phone or your iPad, whatever, and you see like a news thing come up, when you click into it, it doesn't give you the whole thing, you know? It just gives you, oh, literally, probably about what? Three lines of that? Oh, Dior's still using it because of this. Doesn't mean you know, anyone can, oh my god. They're not going to read the article and they'll go, oh, yeah, it's him, like, you know? That's the worst thing about it. So, the Pirates of the Caribbean actor, 57, continues to be face of the Savage scent. Luxury brand appears to have stuck by him despite him losing the trial. Experts suggest the brand might not have had time to reshoot the advert. Nick Eddy or Eddie, whatever you want to call him, there is no way Dior could have turned a new ad around in time. Social media users have criticised the decision to stand by the actor as baffling. Hmm... All I'm seeing on Twitter and everything else is praise for Dior for standing by him. Again, this is a newspaper. This is the Daily Fail. One of the worst rags in the world. I wouldn't even use this to wipe my dog's ass with. That's how bad this paper is. So it goes into it. Luxury brand Dior may be sticking by him after he lost his trial because there wasn't time to turn around a replacement ad campaign. In time for Christmas, an expert has claimed. Even on the top they say experts... But now it's, oh, an expert. The American actor continues with their face of the scent with adverts continuing to appear in newspapers and a TV advert even airing during this year's Bake Off final. The luxury brand appears to have stuck by him despite the judge branding him this. The judge did not brand him that. That is just, oh, again, this paper man. Who's it by? Harriet? Yeah, Harriet. We actually done a video on this girl a couple of months ago where we actually found out she's actually been to parties with AH. Say no more. Popular culture and brand commentator. So he's not even an expert. He's just a culture and brand commentator. Basically, someone like me. <laughs> Nick told Female, The decision to stand by the actor could be down to timing. Ad agencies who buy media space for Christmas periods know this is a premium time to shift sales of their brands. They will have many months in advance secured lucrative slots. There is no way that someone like Dior, who make huge investment, could have turned a new advert around in time for the slots they have bought. Yes, they could have. Because I'm pretty sure this year, the majority of the big Christmas ads were filmed in like one day. So again, they're trying to say, oh, they never had time. They've had plenty of time. But again, no, they don't want to tell you that because that goes against the narrative of this story. He continued, so they would have had to think about where they place their adverts and what assets they have. And as Dior Savage is the biggest seller, Biggest seller. They wouldn't want to replace the advert with something else. And to be honest with you, a lot of people bought this because of Depp. I did. I didn't even know what it smelled like when it first came out. I bought it and it was amazing. So I keep buying it. Again, I also buy it because it shows support. If they get rid of this, if they get rid of Johnny being the face of it, then kiss those sales goodbye. Last month, the spokesperson for the Advertising Standards Age Authority, sorry, so AASA, told The Guardian it received 11 complaints about the <laughs> about the actual ad saying it should never have been aired. The Bake Off final had 6.7 million people watch it. Out of those, 11 people complained. 11. That's it. Out of 6.7 million. That's how crazy these people are. 
Fendick suggested the number was surprisingly low, giving Depp's recent court case explaining, it's crazy to think an advert starring an alleged person can get less than 100 Ofcom complaints, whereas a drag dance and primetime dance show like Strictly gets double. So they're saying there, literally, Johnny Depp had 11, but a drag dance had 22. Again, 22, that's nothing. But again, no, like I said, these people, they don't want to give you the actual facts because they know how bad it makes their story look. But it shows instantly how audiences react to such things. And as we know, the Johnny Depp case was not cut and dry, and so many of his fans will stand by him. Well, yeah, because they've all seen the evidence. And this is what they got. You got one, two, three people. Dior. And if you look, they're like, oh, why are they doing this? How can you do this? And again, people seem to be forgetting. He was not on trial. It's not a criminal case. He hasn't been charged with anything. You try and tell these people that, they look at you like you're gone out. They look at you like... Well, no, the judge said. No, the judge said, to the extent of the law. Basically, oh, what's written in the law book, you've basically got to the extent of that and that's it. That is it. But again, no, it's going through the appeal courts because so much information has come out regarding the judge and the actual team who are behind the sun and AH's team where the judge's son and his colleagues and his wife have all been out with Amber Heard. Again, you tell these people that they think you're a conspiracy theorist and you're a nut. No, it's actually called being a proper professional more than the person who does these interviews and who does these actual articles. Like I said before, guys, the greatest detective is the person on the internet. Journalists, this day and age, there's no integrity for them. 100% there's none. It's all gone. Put out the window. Because they just want to get news. They just want to get clicks. That's all they want to do. But with something like this, again, use the Wayback Machine, guys, because it's fantastic. So it does carry on. The experts suggested the actor might not work with a luxury brand on their future adverts. I suspect behind the scenes, Dior will be looking at their 2021 campaigns and how they are in to position themselves and what talent they will be using in the future. Well, supposedly, we've also heard that L'Oreal has dropped AH. We can't get any confirmation on it. It's just a rumour we'll take with a big pinch of salt. But that's another story and another kettle of fish entirely. But when you've got something like this, when they're literally going on and saying... Yeah, he won a criminal trial, he hasn't been charged, he hasn't been nothing, he hasn't been investigated. But just because a newspaper called him this, then that's automatically right. This is the sad thing about this day and age. Years ago, my parents told me, don't believe everything you see on TV. This day and age, I'm telling my parents, don't believe everything you see online. Which is the exact same thing now. Guys... If you want to look into something, or if someone's got an opinion, look at the opinion, look into it yourself, come to your own conclusion. That's the only way this is going to work. And if you think that, as we've seen quite many people now, who go out of their way and they're like, You don't have my opinion, you're cancelled. I don't like you, you're this, you're that. You're an is it at the end of the, any sentence. Don't be a sheep like them. Look into the evidence yourself. Look at all the facts, come to your own conclusion. That is the best way for it. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see each and every one of you soon.